Gotcha! Three dog here! How's everyone doing? And here's me! <laughs> With the news. I've been getting more and more reports of these mercenary maniacs from Talon Company, especially in the downtown DC area. If you see these hombres, steer clear. Whatever you have, they want, and they're not really into asking politely. Word is, these guys take all the contracts the other mercs won't. In short, there's nothing they won't do. So be careful out there. Thanks for listening, children! This is Three Dog, Ow! and you're listening to Galaxy News Radio. We're Radio Free Wasteland, and we're here for you. And now a super Why don't you important look where you're public going? service announcement. For all you guys and gals tempted by the thought of scabbing in the downtown DC ruins. Yeah. You see, children. A few odds and ends. Might violently and horrifically rip you to shreds, but only if you're lucky. According to most of our reports on the super mutants, they actually prefer capturing their victims and hauling them off to God knows where. Consider yourself officially warned. And now, some music. Another satisfied customer. Bye.
You there! Put your weapons away! Come over here! No funny business, unless you want to get shot. What are you doing here? It's not safe for your kind around here. Oh yeah? Is he expecting you? Well then, run along. It's not wise to keep Roy waiting. Has a bit of a temper, that one. You watch yourself. I've been stomping around with Roy and his gang of misfits. Roy's a no-nonsense, take-no-prisoners kind of guy. He heard about this tenpenny asshole, and now he's trying to get us in that tower. He's hatching some kind of plan to kill all those bigot bastards. Believe it or not, I used to vacation there. I wasn't always like this. I was a goddamn scientist. We were doing great things. Amazing things. Sure, sacrifices were required. Some people got hurt. But we were making real progress. But then those goddamn bombs dropped. Karma's a real bitch. You'd be wise to remember that. Live it up while it lasts. Hello. What is it? Figures. He's Tenpenny's adorable lapdog, isn't he? So what's your angle in all this? That's awfully decent of you. Even if we already knew those bigoted bastards wanted us dead. Talk to Roy Phillips. You might be able to help us out. Go live your life, kid.
starting.
Oh, hello. I'm Bessie Lynn. I... I don't think you should be down here. Did you talk to Roy? I, I hope you know what you're doing. You could get in a lot of trouble by coming around uninvited. I wouldn't want to see anyone get hurt. You must be pretty tough to get past all the ferals. They tend to leave us alone, but someone like you... Am I babbling again? Roy tells me I shouldn't do that? Roy is coming up with a plan to get us into that tower. Ten pennies. Says it's only a matter of time. He's strong like that. He never gives up. The kind of guy who makes things happen, Roy is. That's why the others follow him. Me, I just like the way he looks at me. Makes me feel pretty again. I'd go anywhere with him. Oh, well, it's not so bad, I guess. Once you get used to it. But it's not like before. I used to be pretty, you know. Everyone used to come around all the time. People stop wanting to be around you, though. When it starts to happen. When you start to change, I mean. Oh, okay then. Have a nice one. Oh, hello there. Please don't hurt me. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I just assumed. Well, most people would prefer if we ghouls didn't exist. If you want to help us, talk to Roy Phillips. Oh, okay then, have a nice one. What do you want? Biding our time, making plans, getting ready. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes can't keep us out of that tower forever. We've got rights, and we'll take them if they aren't given to us. Ghouls aren't built for luxury and comfort, is that it? You think ghouls belong scurrying around in that dark dank underbelly of the wasteland. You got a lot of nerve. You're right. It's none of your business. You best get out of here, kid, before something ugly happens. What do you want? You better choose your next words really carefully, because you're starting to piss me off. Sure, whatever you say, you pretentious two-faced asshole. Uh-huh. Fine, whatever. Being a ghoul ain't anything worse than any other thing somebody's got to deal with. Like your stupidity, for example. You can't help it. You were born stupid, or dropped on your head as a kid. Either way, it ain't nothing you can change. So you deal with it. So you killed a bunch of feral ghouls. Is that supposed to sound impressive? I got no compassion left for those mindless freaks. But they were a nice deterrent keeping out smooth-skinned bastards like yourself. Is that so? He isn't man enough to do it himself? Sends a boy to do his dirty work. You think you got what it takes? I see. That's smart of you. I'd lay you flat if you tried anything stupid. So don't... Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes are in for a real treat soon enough. They can't keep us out of that tower forever. Not sure where you come from, kid, but out here in the wasteland everything's up for grabs. And you only get to keep what you can hold on to. Tenpenny didn't build that tower. He found it. And took it from whoever used to own it. Now we're gonna take it from him. We tried playing nice, but they shot at us. Fuck them. It's time for them and their bigot ways to die. If I'm no better than Tenpenny, then he should let me into that tower. But he won't, so I'm busting in. 
I already got a plan. They think I'm a monster? I'll show them the real monsters. We'll unleash our feral brethren on them. All those bigoted sons of bitches will get torn apart. Trouble is getting past the damn subway access door. You see this? Some kind of escape door that leads from the Tenpenny basement to the subway tunnels. There must be some way to get that open. Ha! Huh. Those snooty bitches probably can't stand living with each other, let alone with us. But by all means, try talking to Tenpenny if you like. But it won't work. Then we'll do it my way. You get that escape door in the Tenpenny basement open, and I'll unleash those ferals on them. What about it? You think so, do you? Give it a shot, kid. But you're dreaming. I'll wait to give you a shot, but then we're doing it my way. What? Well, get going then. Open the door. What's taking you so damn long? Hurry up. I'm getting impatient. You... Hurry up. Those bigots got big comeuppance waiting for them. I mean to give it to them soon. Now get... Hello. What is it?
Good to see you're staying out of trouble. So, what'll it be today? We've got some new... Have a look. Most of it's edible. Some of it even tastes good. Enjoy! Here, take a look. Hey, uh, how's it? Sure thing, my man. See you soon. Hey there. Leo's been doing a lot better. I think we have you to thank for that. How can I help you? Whatever. I need to get back to work. Let those who dwell here in his favored land. I wish I had the courage to end it all. You may be right, but I have nothing to live for. Ted Strayer. I suppose I could talk to him. He is kind of a lost boy. 
Thank you, stranger. I'm just taking things one day at a time. Look, I appreciate your helping with Zimmer, but I really just want to put all this behind me. So I'm going to pretend none of that happened. Now, is there something I can help you with, citizen? Carry on, then. Good to see you. Decided to check out the... Is there something else? Of course. Good to see you. Hey there. Oh, hey there. No problems to report, I assume? Hello. Evening. Did you hear about one of the, the new immigrants died of radiation last poisoning last week? Yeah, hey. Bell's gonna have yeah, to replace I her table. Ah, I knew you wouldn't be. Another satisfied customer. I was drinking chairs. river water. I right. sure. Yes, sir. Water is as much. May Saint Monica bless. Better if we don't get fresh water sooner than the, the city council like is debating me. putting railings on the flight. Welcome yeah, to yeah, Rivet City. Yeah, yeah, you're my hero. I've got to go to your head. Yes. I'm just taking things one day. <laughs> 